Howdy folks, hope you've all had a good weekend, and welcome back to Horizon F Forbidden West. Yeah, I need to call it Zero Dawn. <laughs> At some point I'm going to screw up and do that. But anyway, uh, the way is clear to the data centre. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the Blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay, I should find the server room. I just had to drop a space shuttle on top of a bunch of really, really angry, giant acid spitting metal snake monsters in order to get here. Where's Val, by the way? I mean, he insisted on following me. I'm close. I have to be. So where is he? I mean, I cleared the way. Oh, you know what, doesn't it? Ooh, data point up ahead. Let's scan that with a focus. There we go. What to do about Dalgard? Who's Dalgard? Oh, right, he's the Far Zenith Project's PR mouthpiece, the one given all these presentations. But, uh, looks like he's exceeded his usefulness to the people who are actually getting on board the Odyssey and leaving the planet. They don't have a seat for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, isn't that a shame? Talking about plans to uh, cover the eventuality when he realises he's not going to escape the planet with the rich and famous. Uh, and preparing a digital copy of him in order to continue the PR work. Yeah, not so far-fetched, really. Please be here. Is this it? The data vault? Well, there's something in here. We have a cutscene. Yeah, this is it. Or is it? I mean, it can't be, can it? We're an hour and a half in. Well, congratulations, you're done. Thanks for playing, see you in the next game. <laughs> so what's gonna go wrong here? <laughs> it's here. Gaia version 6.9, initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Now, what's this we got here? A Farzian's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Well, on the one hand, it's nice to see that Far Zenith got what they deserved. I mean, all they had to do was ask or negotiate, but they tried to take, and it bit them in the arse. They, they messed with the wrong hackers. On the other hand, no backup. Hey, oh, hello, Vol. So glad you could make it. The goddess. No. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. It's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. See, the Nora have been worshipping that. Well, not directly. They've been worshipping the idea of that for the best part of the last thousand years. Uh, they believe Gaia is the goddess. So go easy on them. You know, this is, uh, it's, it's rough having the foundations of your world ripped out from underneath you. Val's not to blame you. So no backup and no leads as to where we're going to find another one. Now what? I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Farl. 
But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually, I've got a better idea. So, to cut an extremely long story short, in the first game, the final confrontation against the Hades uh, program took place here, the city of Meridian, the capital of the sun-worshipping Karja tribe. By the sun, it's true. She's come back. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. And this is the guy we need to see, Murad, the Karja spy master. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. There's no possible way that's going to be good news. Come. I'll show you. If I remember correctly, the spire is an ancient communications facility that Hades was trying to use to wake up all of the old war machines. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the alight, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that, That's the shell that contained Hades. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. So a couple of weeks ago at the solstice, something happened. Something involving Hades and the Spire. And there's no way that can possibly be good. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know. Looks the same as before. I could pull this thing out of the house. Transmission. The thing is, the shell, that, that's not Hades, that's just the vessel that contained its consciousness. It's, a, it's an AI. It's basically data. Data can be transmitted, and the spire is a transmitter. Oh, he wouldn't. He couldn't. 
All right, she's a step ahead of me here. I don't know what she's talking about. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Or I don't know who she's talking about. Well, there's only one way to find out. So we need to climb up to oh, the base of the spire. Shouldn't be too difficult. Have a look around. Oh, there's a thing over there. Let us investigate. Sheen carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Yeah, it was um, it was one of the better end game boss fights I've uh, come across. Something to investigate over here as well. Uh, uh, is that a statue? Statue of me. Of me. <laughs> Very inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Well, yeah, true, but the cars you don't know that. Anything else around here? Before I uh, attempt to find my way up. I mean, there's a lot of construction going on around here, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get to the base of the spire. Yeah, I remember Let's climb that. up to a vantage point so I can take a look and... Okay, I guess I'm not climbing up from here. <laughs> I'm trying to get to some higher ground so I can just take a look, see um, how I'm supposed to get up there. You know I don't like to repeat myself. Can I climb up there? Hmm. Looks like you I should be there. able to. I hope all is well with you. Yes. Oh, and there is a climbing point. Okay. So, I mean, this probably Boy. isn't it, but I should yeah. be able to see from here. How I'm supposed to get up. Okay, that's not climbable, but clearly that platform over there is. I mean, that kind of looks like the way I'm supposed to be going. Let's give it Save a try. You. Well, there is a waypoint marker up there, so yeah, that's definitely it. Okay, I can climb this. This is this, yeah, this is it. Look for another climbing or grappling. Jump to that ledge behind me. All right, yeah. There we go. By the forge, it's her. Now where are we going? Oh, yep. This is it. And from here, can I make that? Yes. Now we're going to need to use a pull caster to pull that over. There we go. Here we go. From here to the base of the spire. No. How to cross over to the spire? That panel looks like something I can use the pull caster on. Looks like I can use my yeah, pole caster the on that. confirms it. So my instinct was right. Pull caster on that. Guys, should be able to get up there now. I'm going to have to jump and grapple. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. Wait, silence? It looks like he tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission out at the top will tell me. Wait, the person she's talking about is silence? Well, I mean, it makes a certain amount of sense because he did give her the lance that she used to shut Hades down. Except it didn't shut Hades like down, it just comes oh, no. Can I go up through the inside? Huh? 
I mean, when you were playing the first game, you always knew that Silence was using you to achieve his own ends, but Silence's ends and your ends coincided, so you, there was no reason why you shouldn't work together. Elevator? Let's see. But if his ultimate goal was not to destroy but to capture Hades. Access lift activated. Oh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Happy day. Engaging maintenance configuration. I mean, silence. He never struck me as a good guy. But he wasn't exactly a bad guy either. He's just, you know, very practical and willing to. Well, yeah, willing to use whatever means were necessary to achieve his ends. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no, what's he done? Or perhaps more pertinently, there's the note. What did he use Aloy to do? I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You wrecked the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't you one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, Art. Yes. Well, and the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. There he goes again. I mean, despite what he's done, tricking Aloy into actually capturing Hades rather than purging him, it doesn't really seem like an enemy. I mean, he's, he's told her where he is and invited her to come meet him. Oh, what game is he playing now? It's not a choice. You went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. The Sun King of Ard's not a bad guy. And I think he has a bit of a crush on Aloy. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthid, Vinasha, 
Yeah, Rick. I don't remember either of these. Yeah, before she runs <laughs> off again. Really? Must you? I mean, I realise this is supposed to be some kind of big reunion. Don't remember either of them from the first game. Nice spear, though. Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. No, if I could actually remember those people from the first game, aside from the Sun King himself, I might actually want to spend time catching up with them, but I have no idea who they are, so uh, let's just crack on. I need on. to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Oh, right, yeah. If I want to use the spear to override machines, I'm going to need to attach the Master Override to it. So, let's find a workbench. And there's there. one up here on the terrace, Workbench. rather than down in the construction site, where you'd expect one to be. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Okay. Spear upgrade. Requires the resonator blast skill to use. Blah. Anyway. Um, that seems to be it. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new. To store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Okay, so this looks like... Whatever this resonator thing is, it, it, it's clearly not something that I have access to yet. So, let's crack on. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Oh yeah, all transportation in this world is on foot, isn't it? There's no wildlife bigger than, well, a sheep or a fox or something like that. All of the ecological <sighs> niches uh, that were occupied by things like cattle and horses have been filled by machines. So, um... Aloy's going to ditch Val here, isn't she? Yeah. The idea of being able to ride anywhere is completely alien. Aloy's only able to do it because she can override machines. Aloy, this kind of sucks, you know. If you don't want to take Val with you, at least have the courtesy to tell him, rather than just slipping out in the middle of the night. I did expect a little better of her, but well, it is what it is. And what it is, is effectively the end of the tutorial. We're about two hours into this game. And it's only now actually beginning. Everything that we've done up until now is just setting the story and explaining the game mechanics. Well, explaining the ones that you're absolutely, definitely 100% going to need. There's still a lot of stuff that hasn't been covered, but which will, I have no doubt, pop up and be explained as and when we need to know about it. But for now... This is Horizon Forbidden West. I nearly said... <laughs> I nearly did it again. It's nearly said Zero Dawn. I'm sure I'll do it without noticing at some point and you'll all stomp all over me in the comments. Jingles, wrong game. But yeah. Um, th this is shaping up to be really, really good. I was a huge fan of the first game. The storytelling and the... Well, the story itself and the way they told the story was fantastic. And it's the story and the storytelling that really does make the difference because, you know, if you strip away everything and you boil it down to its basics, all, all these games are, are Ubisoft open world games. And that, 
that does kind of seem like a harsh comparison to make, but it's true, because when was the last time you saw Ubisoft do an actual good open world game? I think we could probably all agree that Assassin's Creed Odyssey, um, which was defined by its story and its storytelling, although maybe to a lesser degree, I've always had a soft spot for Far Cry 5, but I think the one that everybody could probably agree on was Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and how long ago was that? Don't bother looking it up, I'll tell you. It came out six years ago. It's the last time Ubisoft did a good open world game. It's like they forgot how to tell a good story. Or they forgot that the story was important and was the only thing that served to differentiate any one Ubisoft game from the other faceless open world clones that they churn out on a yearly basis. Guerrilla Games, however, they're the developers of the Horizon series. I mean, I call it a series, there's only been two games. Well, two games and two DLCs, and whatever, you get the idea. Um, I'm very happy to say that they have never forgotten that story is king. And I am really, really looking forward to seeing where this story leads. Because so far, it's excellent. And hopefully, you'll all be along for the ride, because there is definitely 100% more of this coming. Just not today. <laughs> That's it for today. Uh, we'll pick up where this leaves off in the next episode. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time.